Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. This is gonna be a quick one, but I promise you I have some more stuff for you later this evening. So let's just get into a minute. For real, let's go. <laughs> Child allegedly, this is legion. The people have got to investigating and they have put little things together of, you know who we're listening to, Risa Tisa on TikTok with the 50 stories that's fantastic that I'm reviewing. Baby, allegedly, this is Legion. So, right now we got a face. So, let's keep going. And allegedly, y'all, she is getting to the back. TikTok is going crazy. Y'all, I post and then I go here, right? I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Let's keep going. Baby, we got some events coming up. <laughs> got some activities coming up and it's time to play some imaginary bits okay i want to know your numbers for these upcoming three events now mel is having a mimosas with melody and it's going to be march 30th this is what my money is on i feel like this is going to be fantastic then we got martel at the epitome of a woman right i feel like people are going to go to this because they need to see if it's real, first of all. And what is he going to say? And they need to come back to us with the info. Right? But I don't think this is... He can't even talk. So I can't wait to hear how this goes. Then we got the Espo. We have gone from a weekend slumber party to a one-night event. From not knowing where we're going to be to knowing where we're going to be and we don't know if we're going to have vendors but we definitely got speakers i want to know how this is going to go i need y'all to check in with me and i really hope they don't embarrass themselves out there because when they were on that live with kiana yesterday i was embarrassed the fact that they had a filter on it and marceau had lashes i hope that's not the worst to come and then I got to get into this thing with uh, Wanda. I'm going to get into that later on. Let's keep going. I will be busy tonight because I am definitely going to listen to this conversation with Erica Dixon, Scrappy, as they talk to Carlos King. I, this is going to be amazing. And if you've already listened to it, just hold what you got, baby. Give me some time. It's, it's going to come. Y'all know the schedule is different. I'm dropping a little different, but I'm on the way. But I can't wait to see this. While I was asleep, I woke up and Beyonce has become the first black woman artist with a number one country song. Absolutely. 16 carriages. I, like, I almost made a little video about myself for that. It, it had me in my feelings, right? I love that song. I can't wait for more. Let me know how y'all feel about this. But congratulations, B. Absolutely, positively, I'm tired of Monique. All Hip Hop has an article about this, about how she spoke about her son on stage, the way she called him out his name. It was, it, it just makes her and Sydney look real crazy because all of this, oh, you're not going to sit here and tell me that you being on stage is different than you being in front of the camera with Sydney because why would you say that about your son on stage i i'm over monique I, i'm over it lastly let's get into the looks for the real housewives of beverly hills for their reunion right this is coming from queens of bravo um i think erica jane looks elegant and she is toned down but she still looks good and age appropriate Dari, um i have no problem with this it's dramatic it's exaggerated it's Dorit. It's on topic for her. It's over the top. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think she looks beautiful. Crystal looks like she's going to a benefit. Like, I don't know why she doesn't just do it up. I'm glad to see a little boobage from her because she is always so closed up. But I really like Crystal. But this is just giving foundation. For Kyle to have this outfit on, Kyle looks like she's going to a PTA meeting. Like, what is this? There's no fanfare. There's no anything. I'm really shocked at this look. 
maybe I gotta see the whole thing. But this looks like she's going to a PTA meeting. Child, monochromatic is the friend for Giselle and Devin for Sutton. Sutton should only always do one color, right? Because whatever this is, I'm okay with it. I don't know what's going on past her knees. I don't know the shoes. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with the hair. I'm good with the little flower. I'm good with this little bracelet right here, this little cuff. I think this is tens across the board. This is the best she's looked all season. Let me know how you feel about that. I just don't even understand. I don't understand her. I don't. I, I just don't. And this outfit, I don't understand it either. I don't like it. Now, what is Kathy doing there? I love Kathy's outfit. Like, it's cost about $500,000 and this bag is $20,000. And it's beautiful and it's age appropriate. And it's very Hilton-like. But why is she here? It should be Kim. Kim was on the show this season. Now, they talked about Kathy. But why is Kathy going to be at the reunion? I am so confused. Kim definitely should be there. If one sister is going to be there, it should be Kim, not Kathy. I'm here for Garcelle. Although she looks like she's emceeing a Christmas program, not a PTA meeting, but it's monochromatic. It's beautiful. Maybe it'll look different on television. I like her hair. She did make the comment that they need to be more cohesive because they always look like they're going different places. And I agree with that. But I'm okay with this. Let me know what you think about it. It's your girl Millie Chun. I'll be back. Bye, y'all.